Welcome back guys. Now, before I start my video, if you look at the corner over there, there's a red subscribe button. Don't forget to tap and subscribe to my channel. And if you could also put my YouTube channel on your social media so that other students who are studying index or A-level maths can benefit from the videos that I upload on my YouTube channel. Thank you. In this video, I'll be looking at 9.10 rates of change. 9.10 represents chapter 9, section 10 of the Pearson A-level maths, pure maths year 2 textbook. Okay, let's start off with the line rate of change. Now the line rate of change represents a differential. So when you come across the line rate of change in the exam, you know that it's a differential. So you could have the rate of change of volume. That represents dV over dt. The rate of change of area. That represents dA over dt. The rate of change of radius. That represents dr over dt. It will always be over dt. Okay. Another advice that I'll give you guys is to look out for the units used in the exam. For example, centimeter cubed per second represents volume over time, V over T. Centimeter squared per second represents area over time, A over T. Centimeter per second represents length over time, L over T. Here's an exam style question. A spherical mint of radius 5 mm is placed in the mouth and sucked. In a simple model, the rate of decrease of the radius of the mint is inversely proportional to the square of the radius. Write down a differential equation. Okay, the key part of this paragraph is the rate of decrease of the radius. Okay, so what does that represent? Well, it is just a differential and the differential that I can write is dr over dt where r represents the radius. We are told that the rate of decrease of the radius of the mint is inversely proportional to the square of the radius. So I can write down dr over dt is equal k over r squared. Now I need to decide if I will be putting a minus in front or not. Well if I go back to the question it says rate of decrease. So we need to put in a minus over here to indicate the decrease. So the differential equation that I've generated is dr over dt is equal minus k over r squared. Here's another exam style question. The area A of a circle is increasing at a constant rate of 1.5 centimeters squared per second. Find to three significant figures, the rate at which the radius r of the circle is increasing when the area of the circle is 2 cm squared. When it comes to these problems over here, I would advise you guys to extract as much information as possible from the question. So I'm going to draw a little box over here. First of all, we've got a circle. What is the formula for the area of a circle? Well, it is a equal pi r squared. We are told that the area A of a circle is increasing at a constant rate. Okay, rate represents differential of 1.5 centimeters squared per second. So area over time. So we can write dA over dt is equal 1.5. Find to three significant figures the rate at which the radius r of the circle is increasing. Okay, again, the rate. We've got the word rate, that represents a differential. And we're looking at the rate at which the radius r of the circle is increasing. So we're trying to work out dr over dt. When the area of the circle is 2 cm squared. So what is dr over dt when a is equal 2? Okay. And wherever our dr over dt is, we're going to round it to three significant figures. Now, I've extracted as much information as I can from the question. I've put it over here. My target now is to solve the problem. So first of all, I know that the area is equal pi r squared. So I can write down pi r squared is equal 2 because the area is 2. Okay, so that's good. I can rearrange and make r the subject. So if I do this, I get r squared is equal 2 over pi. Therefore, r is equal positive square root 2 over pi. We don't take the negative square root because r represents radius and radius is a length. Okay, so r is equal positive square root 2 over pi. Now, 
how do I work out dr over dt? I can use the chain rule. I can write down that dr over dt is equal dr over dA multiplied by dA over dt. This is fantastic because I've got dA over dt, okay? And I can work out dr over dA. First of all, what is dA over dr? So I'm differentiating pi r squared with respect to r. So if I do that, I get 2 pi r, okay? So just bring down the power, subtract 1 from the power. So dA over dr is equal 2 pi r. dr over dA is just 1 over 2 pi r, okay? So I can write down dr over dt is equal 1 over 2 pi r multiplied by dA over dt, which is 1.5. Okay, I want to work out dr over dt when a is equal to. I know that when a is equal to, r is equal to this quantity over here. So I can substitute r equal positive square root 2 over pi into my dr over dt. And if I do this, I get the following result. one over two pi in bracket square root two over pi multiplied by 1.5 okay my final step is to put this into my calculator and round off to three significant figures after using my calculator i get dr over dt at r equals square root two over pi is equal to 0 0.299 centimeter per second to three significant figures here is another juicy exam style question. Figure two shows a cylindrical water tank. The diameter of a circular cross section of the tank is six meters. Water is flowing into the tank at a constant rate. So because the word rate is used, we're going to be using differentials, okay? 0 0.48 pi meter cubed per minute. So volume over time. I'm going to indicate water flowing into the tank using an arrow over here pointing downwards so water is going into the tank at a rate 0 0.48 pi meter cubed per minute at time t minutes the depth of the water in the tank is h meters there is a tap at a point t at the bottom of the tank so here is the tap when the tap is open Water leaves the tank at a rate, so the word rate is used again, so we're looking at differentials. Of 0 0.6 pi h meter cubed per minute. So I'm going to draw an arrow pointing downwards from here and label 0 0.6 pi h. So this arrow going downwards indicates that water is flowing out of the tank. Meter cubed per minute. Show that at time t minutes after the tap has been opened, 75 dh over dt is equal 4 minus 5h. Like I said guys, when you set up a differential equation, your target should be to take out as much information as you can from the question. So I'm going to draw a box over here and write down as many things that I know from the question. First of all, I know that dv over dt will consist of water going in 0 0.48 pi water coming out so minus 0 0.6 pi h so that's something that i know from the question dv over dt i also know how to work out the volume of the water which has a depth of h. Well, to work out the volume, I use the formula pi r squared multiplied by h. The depth is h, yeah? Okay, now, what is the radius? I am told that the diameter is 6 meters, so the radius is half the diameter, which is 3. So volume is equal pi 3 squared h, okay? So that there simplifies to 9 pi h 
What is my target? Well, I want to work out dh over dt. And then rearrange to get this particular form. Okay, so I've got my main bits and bobs over here. Now I'm going to start off by writing dh over dt. How do I work out dh over dt? Well, ladies and gents, I can use the chain rule and write dh over dt is equal dh over multiplied by over dt. I need to stick in a d's over here. And those d's that I'm going to stick in will just be dv. Okay, dv. Now, I know that dv over dt is just this over here, okay? So I can replace dv over dt with this. But what is dh over dv? Well, I can work out dv over dh using v equal 9 pi h. So if I write down v equal 9 pi h, dv over dh. So I'm differentiating 9 pi h with respect to h. And if I do this, I get 9 pi. So dh over dv will just be 1 over 9 pi. So now I can write dh over dt is equal 1 over 9 pi multiplied by dv over dt. Well, dv over dt is 0 0.48 pi minus 0 0.6 pi h. What I now need to do is use algebra to rearrange this and get this particular form. After expanding this particular bracket, I end up with dh over dt is equal 4 over 75 minus 1 over 15 h. Now, my final step is to multiply both sides of this equation by 75. Why? Because I need a 75 dh over dt. So if I multiply both sides by 75, I get 75 dh over dt is equal 4 minus 1 over 15h multiplied by 75 will just be 5h. Okay, so I get the desired form. 75 dh over dt equal 4 minus 5h as required. Okay guys, a tip for the exam. If they use the line rate of change in a given paragraph, then you know that you're dealing with differentials. Or even if they use the word rate, you're dealing with differentials. Take out as much information as you can from the question and then use that particular information in order to generate your differential equation. In most cases, you will need to use the chain rule to generate your differential equation.